We invite all Americans to join us as we continue to pray for those who have lost family members and friends and for those who are suffering from this great crisis. And behind me, we have faith-based people, people who are highly respected, and especially so in their communities where they're not only respected, but they're loved. Evangelical leaders, Christian leaders, many people of faith. And I just want to thank you all for being with us today because we're going to be signing a day of prayer, and that'll be on Sunday. It'll be a very special day, and I don't know when this was done last, but it's been a long time ago. Is that a correct statement? It's been a long time ago. Okay. So this is going to... Mr. President, I think it uh, goes without saying that in a moment like this, we all come together as Americans. We all bow to Almighty God. We ask for His grace and His mercy over those who are affected. And we thank you, the Vice President, and your entire team, FEMA, everything you're doing to deploy every resource of government to help those who've been affected. And most of all, Mr. President, we thank you for acknowledging that ultimately it is God who is the source of our unity as Americans, and I thank you for issuing this proclamation today. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Yes. Let's pray together, may we? Yes. Father, your word says, if your people who are called by your name will humble themselves and pray and seek your face, you will forgive their sins and heal their land. Father, I thank you that we have a president, President Donald Trump, who believes in the power of prayer. We thank you for a vice president like Vice President Pence who works alongside of him. And we thank you that the president had the wisdom to call our nation right now for a day of prayer this coming weekend. Father, this is what we need. We pray for healing for our country. Yes. We pray for physical healing for those who have suffered the devastation from Hurricane Harvey. Father, be with them. Provide for their needs. Help us to be the embodiment of Jesus Christ as we minister to them. But, Father, we also want to pray for spiritual healing, emotional healing for our country. This country has been bitterly divided for decades upon decades, and now you have given us a gift. President Donald Trump, who wants to bring healing to this country, and he is bringing healing to this country, and I pray that you would give him and Vice President Pence the wisdom they need to truly make our country the country you want us to be. We want America to be great again, and we can know that America can only be great if America is good, and we know we have a president who wants to make America good. I pray your blessing upon him, the First Lady, their family. Give Give them wisdom as they seek to honor you. And we pray this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, who came and died and rose again, that we might have eternal life. It's in his name that we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you.